slam, but inside, it's loud, hot, and rowdy. Welcome to the Thunderdome. We're broadcasting live from Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. The fans are wearing parkas and shorts, ready for the carnage to begin. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Hi. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the rest early and often. No mercy. First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. Third down and nine. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. was a bone crusher right there, folks. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Yo, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Second down and long. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. This guy's a brick should have. That, my friends, was an all-pro MFL hit. <laughs> Third down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier saying, well done. Put that guy out of his misery and 
says, who's next? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. Welcome to McBride Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm taking double. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. <laughs> when it's your time to go, it's your time. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one, hot two. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grin. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. If I have missed... That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second... And that'll be their final timeout. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. And that player just transformed into a giant. Great play by the defense. Results in an interception. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback. Oh, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. He's at the twenty, and they're catching up. Joke, job, do something. We might be seeing the birth of a new dance train. This guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain, but man, he is programmed to get down and get funky. Get with it, brother. Get with it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps outside trying to mute. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. First and ten. And that's a one feet dirty brick. Look at him. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Dick's hotel party on a night. 
His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the halftime show. It's still anyone's game here as we start the third quarter. I missed it, Grim. I was out in the concourse grabbing some food, and there was this mutant leopard line, and he left in an angry hop. Why did he leave, Bricks? Yeah, well, people kept dipping their chips in him. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And says, who's next? And it's first and ten. Void break. Because if you can't answer your question, I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And as they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and ten. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. The punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 He runs it for three. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Third down and eight.
Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Slipped away like a greased pig. This guy's up. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And the defense is on his heels. You can't keep And that's a touchdown. Man, once he saw daylight, he would. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this rep is so dirty. He should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. <laughs> When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And this is a first and long offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. This is your brain, and this is your brain. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stopped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Ah, another interception. Please, you give this guy a bigger pay. He scores! Buy a perfume, you pervert. Uh, only on a birthday. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. This should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he breaks away. He refuses to go down. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. A touchdown saving tackle. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Well, feed five, five, five. I'm he blasted and picks up seven yards right there. The defense calls timeout. He must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. 
If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, with the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Hot, hot one, hot. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the pop. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, or at least the mortician did, He's coming out in the field now. Second down and a lot. Hot. Hot one. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. He's on fire! Yeah, he must have just eaten some of those death wings they ship on the top course. Don't pull your ass apart! lose the game today and let's go down to the field and hear the mvp he's a real role model for the kids bricks that is if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea well that personality disorder has a name it's called auto trumpism <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the MicroHard Corporation. They get it right. Cheap. Fire up and blast some Zeppelin. It's time for some mile high football. <laughs> Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle the Mile High Chronic. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape block in the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. Hot. Hot one. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap'n Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 He picks up a two. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Wow, he took a leap and hit the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. And he's off to the races. He might catch him. Move your fat little mutant. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Have you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot one, hot two. for a 10-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Interception, and that's how you stop an offense. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second down in a very lot. Hot one. Now I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey as you. You got it? Boom! First and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. It's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. left in the half. First down and five. Hot. Hot one. Touchdown! Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the theory of this. Straight through the uprights. Home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, he got mugged. More like a mafia hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. away. The defense has to do a better job of watching out for that dirty trick. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, man. Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Oh, man. He just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. You gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like Grant Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot one, hot two, hot Better look out, the offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he moved.
won't be able to read the message. Because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Not much there. Maybe a yard. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Rim? That would make more sense. This is going to be one hell of a kick if he can make it. What a shame. It's still just a field goal. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? Our carnivals? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip tea show. Where are we going? I'm going to ruin you. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. He's not going down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Hot two. Hot two. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Uh, now, that is weird side effects, Bricks. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. It's another turnover for the defense. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. You knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Uh, Junior's having a flashback, man. What do we do? Down him talk so he out it comes up. Uh, yeah, right. Hot. Hot. Hot one. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. He caught it. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And they line up for the extra point.
looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Hot <laughs> one, two, hot. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interceptions, but when I do, oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. This week, he meant it literally. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, no, he just got popped big time. Oh my God! I thought his head was gonna pop off like a big zip. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. The runner pulls out a chainsaw. <laughs> and that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Hot one. Oh, I love this dirty trick. Feed five. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. And like Bricks' his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> First down and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And then the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, that was a hit. 
You ever had your legs knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot nine. He might have managed to dig out a yard. Of oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. Uh, I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Like he just saw 400 scary movies that oh that was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl and it's first and ten hot, hot one hot two hot three. at this rate the qb is going to have more interceptions than completions one's gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly when in a hurry up offense the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock i ate a piece of licorice once and got a shock like that it wasn't licorice you idiot it was the praying corns of the leaf blower well it was a red corn and it looked like licorice The Chronic is defeated today. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you. We're broadcasting live from Stairway to Heaven Arena in downtown Purgatory. The crowd is going wild and partying like it's 1999. I think someone opened Pandora's box and all hell broke loose. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Full Metal Mayhem. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Hmm, I don't remember that being in a 
officially sanctioned NFL rule. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he really wants it. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Eh, big deal. Missed a meat for brace, man, when a ball didn't fall down. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that'll be second down and four. Intercepted. Second down and ten. You know, all the guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. Put on a display there. Touchdown. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. And that'll be second down and four. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third and two. He is fighting for every yard. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Go 
Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Wow, the quarterback just threw a sonic, and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. And here comes the extra point attempt. Kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. At this point, with multiple interceptions, when the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Come oh, on, and he ever get zapped. Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. You're like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football. He oh, now the offense is getting killed. This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Uh, have you seen my beer? A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls a Strawberry Fields dirty trick. Now this takes me back to the crazy. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. make any mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for god's sake it's good when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight now what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run in his path and the body toll continues to climb he could go all the way he's running out of gas now this defender is not going to be stopped once he picked up that loose ball he was going to score or die trying luckily for him he scores <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. You were hit more than a few times like that in your career. 140 times to be exact, and one game to be more exact. 
During one play, to be more and more exact, it wasn't even a game, actually. Coach just laid into me on the sidelines. And he's got a huge working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he finds open space. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. This guy's a brick shit. He's had no touchdown today. Looks like that defender ate his bleedies this morning. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about them two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. <laughs> <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And I hope they covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a Sonic Blast dirty trick. That ball just broke the sound barrier. No, thank you. I already had some. What a Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> and it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming. He could go all day. It looks like we've got a penalty here. And it's first and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trigger. Man, look at him go. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And he's running like a moon. And one saver there. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. 
Second down and long. Oh, and he land rolls the ball. Good. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, oh crowd's loving it. Oh, I guess the ref used his bribe money on some running shoes because he just escaped a team full of bloodthirsty mutants. First down in less than a yard. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. jack-in-the-box bricks you never know when one of those that's the end of three and it's anyone's game hang on tight the fourth quarter is about to begin and it's first and ten and another interception this quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep. You ever have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass? Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Refuses to go down. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And I know I have said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Oh, great pass block. That's just as good as a sack. No, it ain't. When you get a sack, you get to hit the QB in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. Wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second and three. And that's a nice run for a first down. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Second down and seven. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. 
The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The way to move the chains that's oh and you can bury that guy because he is dead oh did you see what number he was i gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card i only need one more ah another interception you should give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined you'd expect him not to play like and he's off to the races look at that little mutant run Slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, wait, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the MicroHard Corporation. They get it right every... Live from Don't Ever Bank Here Field in Croxham Skull, Florida, it's time for some mutant football. It's hard for me to figure out what my favorite part of coming to Florida is. The best part of Florida is leaving so you can read the headlines instead of witnessing them. This is the only place that the nuclear wasteland actually improved. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Croxham Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And the defense was reading him like a boat broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Target a pickup of six yards on the play, and kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard, nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It goes right through, yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. 
Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway exit five. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Not, not one, two. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll commence a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. The defense was there, but he still picked up the yard somehow. Second down and nine. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Third and four. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 10. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. <laughs> and it's first and 10. Two, he runs it for three. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Second down and seven. Huh? And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he breaks away. Third down and eight. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Flip returners in this league have a life expectancy. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, you never get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. Oh, my God. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. First and ten. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down in a mile. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach my big coat to where my tongue was. 
doesn't get the defense calls a timeout to stop the clock they have two left and out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter he boomed that one let's see if they can get a return he snags the punt and looks for a oh he just got crushed First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore gloves? And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the after. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Do you like original or extra crispy? Now the boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant. Seven to bite it. It's a touchdown. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. They're back up here on first down, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Oh. Oh. A pickup of about three on that play. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Third down and six. And the ball razors on the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can wrap up the other half and save it. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Throws another pick. 
He should have eaten his Sweeties this morning. Oh, with a punishing hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And the passing game picking up some steam. A gain of seven there. Third down and three. Two, hot, hot, hot. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. First and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And it's first and ten. Didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and nine. Exploding baby diapers, Batman. That just knocked the ball loose. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. And it's first and ten. Oh. Oh. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Ghost. Ghost. Second down in a lot. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interception. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Talk about a guy's career blowing up. Okay, that guy's cool.
career just blew up. I mean, uh, along with most of his skeleton. He was being rhetorical, you moron. You don't think I don't know what rhetorical is, huh? Well, I don't. So please tell me. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot three. In a fight between King Kong and Godzilla, the oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's what Oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense lays the smack down, and that's the end of this one. First and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. Second down and six. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Say good night to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. <laughs> now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They just be called It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the... Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Hot. Hot one, three. They weren't even on the same page on that play. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably having an interception. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, he just got crushed. I know how they said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it he just cock blocked the clock and the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out and the back gets in there and swats the ball away he can't catch but he sure can swat the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Man, what a hit that was. 
It's first and ten. That's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know, but oh, look at Ouch! That. What is this, Andy's wrestling? <laughs> Some skull jugulars took their city's name to heart and win the game. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. My own wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn my mouth. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Row with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it. So We are live in outer space riding on a giant asteroid at Sunny Alpha Stadium, home of the Galaxy Chaos. Oh, that would explain the text I just got from Event Horizon Wireless, informing me I got five grand in roaming charges. Uh, I wonder how much that text just cost me. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The New Gorland Zombies battle the Galaxy Chaos. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Looks like a pass. And it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He's sick when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. Oh man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for steak kebab? Make mine rare. And it's 
First and ten. Catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Second down and seven. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Uh oh, and the ball carrier just got skewered. <laughs> and that's the end of his day. And like bricks it, boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Mutant bingo! All I need is 77 to bite it! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim! Straight through the uprights! Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Holy crap! He missed time the spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness, suffering, and then it's over much too soon. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Second down and long. Not, not one. He, he broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tackle. First and ten. Second down and a lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating. And the quarterback calls a stop. He could not connect on that play. down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. He picks up nine yards on that catch. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pick game? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. This dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes. Oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy. Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to 
throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is gonna get ugly fast. You gotta avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as he get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Where? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. His ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two.
first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception. Oh, with the brutal hit! <laughs> now the defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the oven with me earlier. I let one rip. I mean, a really good one, Grim. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his wrist, and he held on to that one for a first down. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Man, what a hit. That guy is not getting up. And it's first and ten. his way out of that tackle. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? And the two-minute warning sounds. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. Second down and two. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Third down and the punter is warming up. That's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. They call the war speed dirty trick. He's so fast he won't touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> you know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. high arc 
arcing rainbow. Nice camp, and he turns on the afterburners. Clipper turn. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. I think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I'm a... Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. The quarterback burns his last time out. He can't stop the clock anymore. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Glenn, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? And he's off to the races. He did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he first... It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on them before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. Second down and more than the can. The offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a sub I'm fighting on this asshole. And he scores! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Head. The chaos caused defensive chaos and are the victors today. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, oh, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, blah, blah. You suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.